welcome to my playhouse. Today I'm going to be working a little bit on my battery bank because that project has been on the table for way too long and it's kind of in the way. So I've been out shopping, <coughs> didn't really have the money for this, even though this wasn't really that expensive, but I have been out buying a steel shelving thing for it's like for a garage thing and it's able to um, you're able to put 265 kilograms on each shelf so that's a lot of weight and I'm gonna place it in the basement let's go to the basement Now. And uh, this is the project that is <laughs> on the, on my table, and it's really in the way. And you know, batteries are heavy, and the the oops here is heavy, and I want to move it in here. Just gonna get that out of the way. it over here. I want to place the shelf in this corner which means I have a lot of work to do. Uh, it might be the most stupid place to place it because it's the, it's the spot where I have to move the most things but well that's where I want it. So I'm gonna be doing that and get right back to it. Well, I have made a little space for it over here. <clears throat> I really should have painted that wall. No, I'm not going to do that. The shelf is too high to really stand in here. So I'll have to, have to shorten them just a little bit for them to, to fit in there. And I want the, the, the ones that are going in here. I want them to get somehow up uh, behind this beam so that the shelves will not be able to to fall out this way or to, to come out and I'm putting in the, the shelves I have the first two the, the behind legs in and I put in the bottom one and I've measured it out so that these plastic will slide in under it so that I don't have any waste space down there. So the first shell is going to be so low that the plastic box can slide in under it. That's kind of the idea. And I have cut a little bit out of it so that it will fit up here. And the same thing in the other side. It will go up there and be very... It's actually kind of crammed into the wood a little bit. I slide off that corner so that it would fit there very stoutly. So I have the first shell in and the next shell I want to put batteries on so to do that I'm just gonna measure how high they are. Oh and I'm gonna extend this measuring device fully. So the batteries are about about 18 centimeters and we're gonna give some oh, I think about 20 22 centimeters I'm gonna put on here it is it's looking pretty okay the wall looks like shit but yeah this is gonna look great I'm gonna measure out 20 two centimeters and put in a seal there. Well, with, with this thing, you can't just choose the height of it. You have to see where these are, but I was very lucky. The, the bottom of the next shell, 22 centimeters. So I'm gonna be able to have 22 centimeters air for the batteries right there. So I was lucky. Okay, I am having progress with this shell. 
I put in three shells. Uh, the bottom one, well, the hole in the in down there fits the boxes. These two fits batteries. And the next, I'm gonna I'm gonna make space for all of my junk, so that these boxes can go on the shelves um, and be nicely out of the way. So I'm done building the shelf. It's in there very nicely. And there's gonna be room for a lot of good stuff in there. So that's gonna look really cool. I'm gonna put in some of the stuff and be right back. Yeah, so this is how it looks right now. I took six boxes and put them on top. I carried in the batteries, the four larger ones that I have, and put them on a shelf. Uh, I might have to think about something because the, there's not a lot of room in here for for getting the the one in the backs out, uh, doing things to them or something like that. Uh, I'll think of something. It's only it's only going to be a small 48 volt battery bank, and I have another one that I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, another one with smaller batteries right there. And I'm gonna carry the oops in here and put that there until further notice and just play with it in here. Here is the batteries that I am gonna use for the other 48 volt battery bank so that I will have two banks and I'm just charging one of them. This one is on the charger and it's just ticking in a little bit. I've had the bottom one I had in my in my garage and that needed some charge and the, the top one I just tried to charge that I didn't that wouldn't take anything at all and I got one more down here that I'm also gonna that's four and I actually have an extra um, but I just wanted to check the voltage on the one that wouldn't take a charge see ah, well that's not good it's 0 0.775 so <clears throat> it might be a good thing that I have an extra that was an update on the battery bank um, in progress like this is just part of the th of the bank getting made because now I was tired of having it sitting on the table here for months at a time and those batteries are really heavy to move around, so they, I kind of wanted a more permanent solution for them, so they went into that battery bank thing. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Have a really nice day, and give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.